Wash away your worst memories. Or better yet, change them to good ones. Researchers say with a little practice, it can be done. We found two experts that help us say ta-ta to that bad juju. Number one, use a good mood to process a bad event. When you're out with friends, let's say, and you're having a good time, you can stop and think, you know what, I was upset the other day about whatever happened, but I'm okay now. You heard right. Stress management coach Shoshana Hansen says to interrupt your good time with a bad thought. This shows that you can move on and you can be happy and there's more to life than what just happened. Up next, write down your thoughts. It helps you come up with things maybe you didn't realize before you started writing about it and it really just helps you release and understand what maybe what happened. So, does this tactic work with exes? Relationship expert Leslie Sprins thinks so. Writing the things down that didn't work for you and then you're able to go into these future relationships on the things that you want. We've both been in bad breakups. What are some things that you can write down? Like, I, I don't know, like, <laughs> it's too embarrassing. Let's move on. Finally, turn the event into art or music. Taylor Swift is epic for always writing a song about some bad breakup or some boy who's just the worst. I think it's great, and a lot of stars do that. There's Taylor Swift, there's Carrie Underwood, there's Pink. But if writing music just isn't your thing, try other creative outlets like painting and dancing. It's a really great way to release that energy because you can physically store negative energy, negative memories, and events in, physically in your body. So just put the music on, throw your hands up, and just, <laughs> just start dancing. And so beat it, bad memories. You're being replaced with good ones on the to-do list.